And because we were very, very, very poor, that during the vacations from university, I always had to get a job you know, to supplement, supplement my money. And one job I got, actually it was before I went to university, waiting to go in there, one job I got was the worst job in the world, selling encyclopedias door to door. I actually did that. So knocking on people's door, it was a children's encyclopedia. And it was rubbish. And I looked through it and I said, I'll never buy this, but you know, I had to sell it to get some money. And they, they, they trained me in this sales technique where the first thing you did when a knock on the door, if you got any young children, most people did, and are you interested in education? Which all parents are interested in education when you've got young kids. And I continued to ask these questions which were designed to make the parents feel they were only just one level below child molesters if they didn't buy the student encyclopedia. It was all built on guilt. You obviously don't love your children and you're you're harming their educational uh, advancement if you don't buy this very important encyclopedia. The problem was, I sold one. I went to this house, and there was this young couple, and they were just very sweet and soft. They just had given birth to their first child, and they were a girl, and they were just so, um, so it's not inspired, but so joyful of having a kid. You know, the first member of their family, apart from themselves, they were just so happy. And when I came along, went to the Southern Encyclopedia, there was nothing they wouldn't buy at that time for their new child, even though it was rubbish, and so they brought him. And I never slept that night, I felt so guilty. <laughs> you know, that was a young family, they needed money for other things, and they wasted their money on my stupid encyclopedia. <laughs> and the following morning, I, I resigned, I gave up the job, I couldn't live with myself. If I would have remembered where that family lived, I would have gone back down there and paid them what they, they paid me. I felt so guilty. And you know I kept that for years, feeling so terrible that there, you know, I was a salesman and I sold an encyclopedia which was worthless and this poor couple, I, I imagined them going without food and a baby wearing rags because of total exaggeration. And then one evening, many years ago, I told that story as an example of how you feel guilty. And I said to him, Perth, and after the talk, somebody came up to me. And they said, I have to speak with you, Ajahn Brahm. I said, why? He said, uh, when you told that story, the hairs on my head went up. <laughs> I was just really, really surprised. Because I remember my parents telling me that when I was very young, a young student came to our house as long as a children's encyclopedia. And I loved that encyclopedia. That was the best book I ever had. I carried it around with me. It was a beautiful book. And she said, it's too much of a coincidence it could have been you, but it may have been. I just needed to tell you, I love that book. <laughs>